So the garden. I think I've got my garden back. <laughs> the workmen have um, pretty much finished. Nice path down to my greenhouse. Oh, <laughs> best bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, it's all looking quite neat and tidy, isn't it? It's um, it's looking quite lovely. So nice and um, all one level now. Look, so no steps, just sort of gentle slope up. And this is uh, no steps there. Of course, that just goes down there. So yeah, pretty good. Of course, there's pots everywhere because I really haven't sorted pots out so there's just pots and stuff everywhere but um, they have pretty much finished so the garden we've got the garden back so that's that's great and we just have to sort out pots <laughs> later but um, for now um, it's it's done it's brilliant it's great so very pleased with that um, oh yes made of Kent got a planted this weekend She's in there, look. Looking lovely. Gonna be going up this archway. That should be nice. Very pleased with that. It's got a long way to go, but you've got to start somewhere. <laughs> Maybe we can have a look at the roses because we've not sort of um, not been able to do much of a garden video because not been able to get to anything. Of course, this is Strawberry Hill. Everybody knows Strawberry Hill. Mm. How bonny. Look at this. Lots of water on these flowers. But beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Just move that out of the way. Give you a little look in there. Nice. I'm just going to go in for a sniff. You keep, you keep looking at that. I'm just going in for a sniff of this. No, oh, I love that myrrh licorice that you get. This so sweet, like honey. It has a, a rich, sort of deep honey fragrance with a licorice myrrh. Mm, it's lovely. It's really beautiful. Very happy. Nice to be able to get to things. Nice to be able to see things because just not being able to get into have a look at anything I mean it's still I mean it's still got pots of bulbs and stuff that have been shifted and there's just pots abandoned everywhere there's like four or five um, azaleas that are just abandoned down there and there's a bamboo <laughs> stuck back there and oh these it's it just goes on and on I've got lilies and dahlias and all kinds of stuff just stacked up everywhere but um I'll, I'll just get I'll just get it sorted over the next few days. Um, we'll just get back to some kind of normality with the garden. But it's so nice, isn't it, to get out and actually be able to get to things. It's lovely. I'm very happy. I really am. <laughs> I have missed being able to sort of get out and faff with my garden still got deadheading to do as you can see look there's quite a bit of deadhead to do but um i'll get to it mm. and i saved that one that's chantal thomas and this one has a, a, a rosy aniseedy fragrance it's beautiful i will get to deadhead these now and faff about with stuff it's uh, what can you do? I have loads of this kind of thing going on. Just stuff everywhere. Just stuff everywhere. Mm. Gorgeous. I'm getting there. <laughs> We've shifted a lot of pots already and um, there's more to, more to be shifted. So it's going to take time. Sophie not looking too bad. I did deadhead her this morning, so she's not looking too bad. Still need to tidy up all these pots and find homes for things. But she's not looking too bad, is she, this morning? Gyrenus there. Clematis. 
in with this unknown pink rose. I have no idea who it is. But it's beautiful. Gorgeous. This one is Aloha. It's got buds on, needs deadheading of course. Some decent flowers on it there. And this is Guiding Promise. Clematis that's in with it. Not looking bad. Just in need of a, a dead head and a tidy up out here now. These are pretty art, but this is a lily called Brindisi. Rural England, the remnants of. I was out here yesterday doing a bit of deadheading and um, deadheaded quite a bit on here. As you can see, it's sort of uh, finished there, but there's all these buds look coming because I'm, I'm out deadheading all the time. Um, cutting bits off here and there so but it's coming again so that's looking pretty good and up here we have Blue Angel it looks like um like a frothy brolly of Blue Angel doesn't it? it wasn't intentional it was supposed to be sort of wound around and but it's all at the top um, so it's just decided that's where it wants to flower so I've got this um, frothy Blue Angel top which I didn't actually intend to have so and this has gone mad this is uh, our Beth and it's huge and it's kicked throwing up canes and um, it's just it's just gone huge this year it was a tiny little thing last year and it's just gone nuts and I haven't been able to get to this part of the garden because there was wheelbarrows and cement mixers and oh goodness knows what from the workmen here so it was just a bit of a mess so a lot, a lot of this um, has just sort of been abandoned really. As you can see, look at my clematis. They need deadheading. This is ooh la la and it's in a sorry state for itself. But, um, and there's Deu there, which doesn't look too bad. Ninon's looking a bit ropey, to be honest. But these clematis are in desperate need of a, of a bit of a tidy up. So I need to come out and that's Olympia. Beautiful. That looks like Margaret Merrill. Yep, Margaret Merrill there. And we still got some on this side of rural England, if you can see there. Yesterday I managed to do some deadheading on on England's rose. So it doesn't look as bad as it did, but yesterday it looked shocking. <laughs> it had it had about 80 deadheads on it. But um that's had um a bit of a trimming back, so it's um it's looking a bit tidier. Gorgeous fragrance on this. Beautiful old rose fragrance. Quite strong. It's lovely rose as well. I love the colour of this. Mm, beautiful. I think Mum in a Million might have finished. I've got a lamp post here that's fallen over. You see, it's just it's mad out here. It's mad. There's just stuff everywhere. Look, there's lilies being abandoned there and some cosmos in a pot. It's just, <laughs> it, it, it's not as mad as it as it was, but it's still looking a bit weird. There's a bike that's been abandoned over there, look. <laughs> oh, Etoile Violette is out, look. Mm, who is this? Pink Beauty. That's Potentilla, Pink Beauty. And this is Lavatera, which is going a bit crazy. I need to tie that back in. But here we have Etoile Violette, looking beautiful here on the fence, very nice. And this Lavatera look, it's up there, it's huge. But Etoile Violette's happy there and I was hoping the colour of Etoile Violette, this deep sort of purple colour and then the colour of the Railway Rambler which is a beautiful cherry pink would really look amazing against this green leaf. So let's hope that um, that transpires because that was the vision for there, was the purple and the cherry pink and then the pale pink of the Lavatera, which I think is that Bread and Springs, that one. 
think it is. Across another galane there. More hardy geraniums. And that is Mrs. Chumley there, that clematis you can see there. That is a uh, burgundy wine, it's a lavatera. This is the clematis. That's Selena. And down here we have some cosmos coming up and some more hardy geraniums. Oh, um, a sweet honey cutting that I took at the end of last year and planted in here um, just recently, last last month or so. Um, it's flowering. <laughs> How good is that? So, and that's in with some cosmos and potentilla, pink beauty there. These are some flocks and they've not come yet, but they won't be long. And uh, Claire Renaissance here is budding up again. A second flush, some scabious and various bits that I've popped in here. That's a rouge cardinal over there. He needs deadheading look and lots of cosmos coming and Colette having another flush here just starting here Ooh, beautiful very nice another Ghislaine here looking decidedly pink this one this is a cutting from that one over there very very pink so I was in here yesterday deadheading Ghislaine because she was absolutely full of deadheads so uh, hopefully she'll have some more buds now and get going this budley is just about starting and Linda's baby has got buds on the dahlia that I planted for Louie earlier on this year has got buds on so I'm quite excited about that this is a black diamond it's just starting that's a hydrangea I need to come in here and do some weeding and sorting out for Louie's little bit it's, it's looking a bit of a mess looks like some of his clematis are flowering that's Alba Luxurians there it's just starting to flower that's pretty good just popped these in this year so they're slow to get going but they're in and um, hopefully next year we'll see more flower on those they should be nice there for his little garden but it's not looking too bad is it it's not looking too bad there's still quite a bit of colour And this is a burgundy wine lavatera. It's a, a cross clementii one. It's, it's quite tiny flowers really compared to the usual. But it's lovely. It's a beautiful colour. This honeysuckle's going mad. It was climbing all over this um, second suggie the, the other day. I had to sort of grab it and tie it back into this because I haven't been able to get to this part of the garden. This is Jacques Cartier here. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous fragrance. Mum in a Million. There's a bud there on Mum in a Million. And of course Ghislaine. She's still going. The poor old Ghislaine there. She's not had her usual attention. I'm out here every day normally doing it, but I've just not been able to have access to this part of the garden. Well, most parts of the garden, actually, it's been um, out of bounds, really. But um, hopefully now I can get in and tidy her up, because as you can see, she's looking a bit ropey. Oh, look at the state of new dawn. <laughs> she looks like a very old dawn, doesn't she? <laughs> she, needs, um, she needs looking at, bless her. I'll get to you later today, I promise. <laughs> you won't look as bad as this by the end of the day. You'll be a bit more presentable. I'll have a go at tidying you up. <laughs> Poor thing. And the same with Ballerina, look. She's um, in desperate need of a dead head and tidy. 
so I'm going to be busy today which is going to be great I'm going to really enjoy it the sun is shining so that's good lots more buds coming on Boulderneige so that's good look at all these some more dahlias here oh it's mad some more azaleas there there's, just, there's stuff everywhere I will get sorted I really will but I don't know when <laughs> I have so much to do there's just tubs everywhere more lilies but the rose arch is lovely and hopefully once that gets up there it'll be fantastic managed to get this back in place I hope it's going to survive it didn't like it it got moved and uh, we had to shift everything obviously out of the way from this path so all this had to be taken down <laughs> and um, re-put back up again which um, took me ages to take it down because they attached themselves so I had to unattach it and then fasten it onto something else and then I've had to uh, fasten it back up again so let's hope it's um let's hope it's survived but it's uh, it's it's looking okay for now that's a, a montana uh elizabeth so we'll just pop around here oh this is zephyrin druin beautiful fragrance oh oh wow you look at that one i'm gonna go in for the sniff here oh oh that is so good that is so good <laughs> Oh, it's so good. You have a look at that one. No. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So good. I, I just put that in there this year and it's in with the clematis called uh, Morning Heaven. And um, that's just finding its feet because it's uh, at very early days for that. It's only just gone in there this year. So, And it's a bottomless pot that, um, that we've buried. Um, in this bit of ground here so hopefully those roots can get well down there and uh, be quite happy but it's beautiful isn't it that and uh, more of the pathway or patio or whatever you want to call it now I managed to get a lot of the uh, aces and ferns and fatsias back in place where they should be my husband was out here yesterday sort of washing the windows and the windowsills because they were caked in dust but um i'll get sorted out here we've just bit, we've just sort of put everything back and well not everything but most things back i've got some hostas to move but it's looking quite nice isn't it it's uh, it's a lot smarter than it was and it looks um, looks very tidy. And this is the new parking space, and it'll be easy to park on now because we just had gravel with um, two rows of flags before. So I think that's going to be uh, easier to park on, nicer, and um, it just it's just looking it's just looking lovely, isn't it? And these are the. Persian rose, they're starting to flower. They look nice, don't they? They're looking lovely. A little bit of Napita in there and some clary. A little bit of clary there. They look lovely, don't they? They're nice. I'm pleased with those. Grew those from seed. My neighbour June gave me the seed for these Persian rose. And they're lovely very nice just some little bits here but it's a, it's a big improvement i think need to clean some pots up they're looking in a bit of a sorry state but if you saw what was going on out here with all the angle grinding and stuff the dust that was kicked up was just horrendous so um they did really well to say that the garden's full of plants they um they were very careful And this is the new beyond the block. This is Emma Bridgewater. And she's budding up for a second flush. She's got, uh, let's see, four or five, 
five buds there and of course that is Olivia Rose Austin she's on her second flush and that is Desdemona they're both um, bare roots this year so they're a bit young so a bit floppy and of course these begonias they survived the builders and they're looking beautiful aren't they stunning huge they look lovely don't they very pretty and hanging baskets survived the builders surprising isn't it how resilient these things are because there's you know it's three weeks of um kicking up a heck of a lot of dust everybody survived this is timeless pink you have a look at that oh oh <laughs> it has a beautiful fragrance this rose it really does unusual colour there look it's almost um a sort of beige apricot in the centre there almost two-tone isn't it that i've never seen um any of the blooms look like that on it before very different must be something to do with the weather that is very pretty isn't it that unusual looking doesn't look anything like the others very nice lots of buds on this and lots of blooms on it it's looking pretty isn't it more pots to shift oh, Desdemona here she needs a dead head she's just finding her feet bless her she's new she's only a baby as is Olivia Rose Austin she's just a baby too you're just finding your feet aren't you now just getting going looking pretty she's looking lovely isn't she very pretty this is the lovely fairy need to get to sweet honey and do some deadheading as you can see she's not had any attention harry edland he's on his second flush to go in for a sniff of Harry Edmund because it's so beautiful fragrance oh yeah it's very unusual beautiful mm, gorgeous you have a look at that one. Oh, it's really lovely beautiful fragrance very unusual on Harry Edmund almost like violets gorgeous sweet oh really lovely beautiful this is pretty isn't it popped this here because of harry edland really similar colors kind of lilac-y beautiful and that's a harder geranium there and another one here and down there we've got zara and coming up through here we've got uh, bees jubilee just in here you can see a few more flowers on zara there And I need to come and do some deadheading on Comte de Chambord. It's looking worse for wear. It's uh, It's been abandoned like everything else in the garden. Some buds there, I think. Yep. But um, everything's needing a really good deadheading. There are still some blooms on blush noisette and they're all about to burst out still got some deadheading to do down here but this is blush noisette and there's quite a lot of buds there still to come so that's lovely i have to have a sniff of blush noisette mm, lovely very very nice And this was a bare root at the start of the year. Um, this is Pastella. A few buds on it now. It's been very slow to get going. But there's a beautiful flower there. It was very slow to get going, but it's on its way now. So I'm quite pleased about that. Eyes for you is still flowering. 
first one to flower in the garden and still in flower now <laughs> it's definitely a good doer <laughs> without a doubt peachy peachy is flowering how pretty is peachy has a lovely fragrance very sweet beautiful peachy sweet fragrance it's lovely very nice Ghislaine in with Rhapsody looking worse for wear definitely in need of a dead head yeah definitely looking worse for wear as is most of the garden at the moment it's just crying out for a good dead heading so um, I'm going to be busy today um, snip 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 I think <laughs> but um, this is another cutting from um, from Mummy Ghislaine at the back but um, we just haven't been able to get to this to the garden you know for for three weeks so it's it's um it's not looking so clever really but still very very pretty so she'll get tidied up today and um she'll look a bit better the cut flower garden is starting to um produce something but it's been ever so slow this year just um not um doing very much at all it's it's starting the zinnias are just starting and the cosmos are flowering the larkspur well they're kind of falling over aren't they <laughs> i need to come and, and prop these up but um the flocks of sheep are doing quite well and they are starting things are coming the uh, sweet peas at the back have all fallen over i need to get to them and tie them up elizabeth she's starting to flower she's got buds on as does Penelope Lively. Let's have a look at her. She's got lots of buds on. Looking nice. Beautiful. Very slow this year. Silas Marner did produce a couple of flowers, but that was a bare root this year. And they're just they've just been incredibly slow. Sweet honey is looking beautiful even though she's in desperate need of deadheading. She's still got some beautiful flowers on her and I will come out and deadhead her today. Beautiful. Just ignore the deadheads. I should maybe have deadheaded before coming out to show you the patio but um, I just wanted you to see it really. It's first first time we've really had a chance to get out into the garden but maybe I should have um, presented the roses in a better light here. <laughs> But this is this is reality. This is what I have because I haven't been able to get to them, and you never see my garden like this ever. I mean, I just I'm a deadhead addict. You know, I mean, I'm always out here cutting flowers, deadheading flowers, just tidying up. You know, I'm out here all the time. So um, you know, it's unusual to see my roses look like this. But but it's real life, isn't it? So so there you go. A bit of bush noisette there for you. But a lot of deadheading to do but i've got my garden back and that is the the absolute best thing isn't it i've got my garden back and um it'll be um ship shape in a day or two and uh, looking lovely and the lawn can get cut and it's just going to be great it is going to be great so anyway that's um what can i leave you with i can't leave you with sweet honey because she just looks so bad something else but I don't know what. I'm going to leave you with Timeless Pink, I think. Isn't that an unusual colour? It's um, an apricot peach colour. Very unusual for Timeless Pink, that. So I'm going to leave you with that. And thanks for watching The Messy Garden and hopefully the next video We'll be all tidy, ship shape, and um, ready for visitors. <laughs>